Hi guys, it's Hani here and today I'm going to show you how I made these adorable mini beach houses. Let's get started with today's tutorial. To make the cookies, I used my sugar cookie dough recipe and I rolled it out to about one eighth of an inch. And to decorate, I'm using royal icing. Both of these recipes are posted on my blog, hanielas.com and the links to the recipes are also in the description box under the video. Here I'm outlining and dividing cookie into sections and then we're going to start filling each section with a different color. Today I'm using two shades of pink and white. And this icing is about 15 second consistency. It can be slightly thicker, it's fine. And then you want to repeat this on the side panels as well and let those dry. For the roof, I was inspired by um, Tiki roof. And um, those, I think, are usually made with natural grass. And I colored my royal icing with some ivory food coloring. I kept the icing on a thicker side. As you can see, the lines are not blending together. And then I piped three sets of these short lines on top of each other and then you have to let that dry. To assemble the house use thick icing and then pipe just on the edge of the cookie and then you can attach front and back on the side panels. Let it sit until it crusts for about 30 minutes and then you can attach the roof. Hold it in place for about 30 seconds. To make the decorations uh, I'm using um, small cutters. This is a cutter from Atico, geometrical set, and um, it's great for making a life buoy. You want to outline with red and fill it with red and let it crust and then you can pipe white lines across. This little mini surfboard was made with a small pedal cutter. It's about inch across, super tiny, and I'm using wet on wet technique creating these leaves and then you just have to let that dry. So when it, once it dries, you can decorate your house with live buoy and also don't forget, I nearly forgot, to fill in the gap between the roof panels. And also you can attach a little surfboard. Aren't they adorable? I love how these turned out. And I have another design for you guys, so stick around. In this design, I'm using um, red icing to flood the roof panels. And I'm going to do simple wet on wet flower, which is really easy to do. All you do is pipe a circle, and then with a scribe tool, you're going to bring icing in, creating four petals. You could also do five petals. And then I'm going to add a yellow dot for the center. Front, back and side panels I decided to decorate with yellow royal icing. This is about 15 second consistency. And to color my royal icing I am using concentrated gel colors. Try to avoid using liquid colors. Those will dilute your royal icing and you, don't, you won't be able to achieve bright colors with those because they are quite diluted food colors. And again, I'm going to let these panels dry and then we can assemble the house. So I'm piping a little line of icing, a little bit of icing on the front and back and then gluing it together like so. Again, let it crust for about 30 minutes and then you can glue the roof and then you can add your little decorations. I'm adding also some leaves. I decided to cover the seam between the roof panels with leaves. I'm using thick royal icing. And now while it's still wet, I'm making short slits in the icing, wiping the tip of the tool every time I run it through. 
creating tropical leaves. I love how this turned out. I'm a little obsessed with these tropical leaves. I've been using them everywhere. <laughs> and then you want to also repeat this on all of the edges. On the front and the back. You can also make these as realizing transfers, pipe them on a piece of wax paper or acetate or parchment, let them dry, and then you can use them to decorate your cookies. Use some sprinkles if you wish, and then I'm adding a life buoy on the roof. Now the third design, it's uh, similar to the first design, I have to say, but I'm using a different technique to make the stripes. Here you can see I'm not actually making the outlines, I'm piping straight on a cookie, so you can also do it this way. If you are more advanced beginners, I would suggest that you f make the outlines first and then fill them with icing. I'm not waiting for the icing to crust in between, so I piped my orange lines and immediately I piped blue lines and then use a scribe tool to distribute the icing. And then I'll of course repeat this on the side panels as well. Let it dry and then to make the sign I'm using stiff royal icing and um, basket weave piping tip and I piped a line across. Make sure that you let it dry and then you can use edible marker and write on the icing. I'm calling my houses a uh, big wave. You could also call them, uh, I don't know, surf houses or beach house, whatever you want. And then again, I'm using the tiki bar technique to make the tiki bar technique, tiki bar roof um, design to make the roof. It's really important that with this design, your icing is on a thicker side so the lines don't blend together and they keep their shape. All right, so now we're just going to glue it together like the other houses we made before. I also made uh, the opening on the front and the back slightly larger with a small rectangular cutter. This is so I can then put these on my glasses. And here are my big wave beach houses. I also enjoyed drinking my strawberry lemonade. Aren't they adorable? I love how they look nested on the rim of the glass. And let me know if you try this tutorial. I'd love to see the pictures. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next time.